All right, I just thought I'd make this quick little video instead of a long email to explain some of the things to make sure that we should be doing to wrap up our report cards. The very first thing is learner attributes. I know that some of us are putting it into R1 or R2, but we need to do because this report card is comprehensive for both R1 and R2. We need to make sure that we have done an assignment for learner attributes for R1, R2. So we make sure that we're in homeroom. We're in R1, we see the assignment, and for some reason this program's a little slow lately. And there are the learner attributes. Then we also need to make sure that when we do this again, so we pop back out into score sheet, we also make sure that we have learner attributes also in R2. The other thing to make sure about R2 is to make sure that there is this little blue box that shows that you have done a comment. So if we click, we see the comments added, general learner comments, areas of strength, next step. We don't need to write a lot, general learner comments. Let's try and keep them uh, you know, on the positive side. Right, areas of strength. Let's uh, nicely a, have kids know what they need to, um, what they're doing really, really well. Right, what they're what they're hitting high on, and next steps for the rest of the half of the year. What what things would assist them in being more awesome than they already are? All right, a couple of other things that we need to quickly look at. So if you go into a class and I look at the score sheet, sorry, I'm gonna look here at standards. Any, any, so in R1, so we'll start here, in any outcome that you did not cover in R1, we're gonna ask you to put the code NYD, okay? Do that and then fill that in and then also do that once you're done, do the same for R2 for any that you didn't cover that reporting term. The reason for that is, is that it leaves no blank spaces in the assignment. Lastly, so again, grading standards. This is kind of where some of you have asked for a grades verification report. We don't really have a grades verification report, but this is where you can verify the student's grade and then you can look at their outcome average. If you don't agree with the outcome average, click on it and then you can change it and then it'll override it. So this is where I would be looking for their mark. Do I agree with it? If you want to bump the mark up, right? So for example, this student has a 49. If you want to bump it up to a 50, you'd select and you'd make the change. So if there are any questions, please make sure to ask. Have a great day.